All right, guys, Benjamin 14 here, and today I thought I would uh, show you guys how to do a tape and tissue mod to a PS2. Now, mine, I did break off the top because it's hard swapping for me having the, uh, the top part on. So, without uh, any disposition, I thought I'd uh, show you guys how to do it. First, you're going to have to, even if you have this one, you're going to have to avoid the warranty here, or if you have the old one. There'll be a warranty sticker about right where that tape is right there. And so what you're going to do is, I think it was these ones that were the stickers. Give me a second here. I haven't done this in a couple of months because I haven't changed the tape. Yeah, those are the stickers. All right. So you notice these two right here, those are stickers. You don't want to remove those. These two. These two, by any chance, those aren't stickers. You can just they're just a little cap. Can't see. Alright. Pop them. All those. And now you're going to have to pop that. This one. This one. This one. And that one. <coughs> just going to go ahead and pop out all these. that we've got all the little parts on it should so far look like that. Now in each little hole there'll be a screw. Please unscrew. Now I do have a way I like to do this. I like to set them up in the order they were here so this one is here a little bit. And so I'll just continue. This room. Alrighty, we're halfway through the unscrewing process. Overall, this is a pretty good thing. Uh, doing the tape and tissue won't play burnt PS2 games. In order to do that, you will have to have a swap magic. And I would suggest getting one that has reason for stuff so you can play cool games like Kingdom Hearts Final Mix and Final Mix Plus. Alright. Uh, but it does play normal PS2, normal PS1 games will be going with the original port racing and a burnt copy of Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. To burn PlayStation games, please do them on a CD minus R and not a DVD minus R. So now what you're going to have to do after this is you're going to have to pop open PlayStation. Like so. Look at your top part here. Alright. After you do this, this is what the entire will look like. Take a good little thing at your fan right here. Plugs are still in there. And so on and uh, so forth. Now, with this, please look to the... The back side, and you see where I tape right there. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a little chip right in here, right there actually, and that's a little lever, just tape that down to a couple of tapes, you know, this, that's why I have the tape on the outside. Alright, so after that, you're done with the inside of the PS2. So you can just simply put that on there. You know what? I'm not trying. Alright. There is this little lever thingy right here. The same exact chip as the last time, so you have to right there. Good, 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 good,
right there. Perfect, correct? All right. Now, you're going to do something through the dish tray with that little lever right there. What you're going to do, you're simply just going to pop back on your top to your PlayStation. All right. Now, I will remove the tape to show back. Now, you should notice that there's a little lever in the back right here. Trying to get a good shot of it right there. What you're going to do is you're going to want to take a piece of like electrical tape or whatever type of good tape and tape that back so that way it's not catching on the DVD. After that, I hope you guys can see this, but there's the little hole right there. That hole leads to that rubber button that I showed you. So you're just going to take a piece of tissue, kind of roll it up, and tape it over that hole. Well, that being said, the PS2 is modded to play burned games, but you can't play burned PS2 games because you have to have swap magic. But now I will show proof here to you guys that indeed it does work. So, I'm going to look up the PS2. Sorry about that. Oh. Still good. Alright. Now we're going to start off by placing a PlayStation 1 game into the actual system. Now. trying to get a little bit of a setup. Right. Perfect. So you can see where it says Empire right here. Perfect. I'm going to do the disk swap. You'll hear the PlayStation start up, hopefully, and we'll get it done. So without further ado, let's swap. And start spinning. Hopefully we got a good swap. We're racing this year. And your burn game is there. Now, that would be yeah, if you the one thing that is a little bit slow is that right there. You just gotta let it load over time and it'll eventually go away like it just did. And yeah, there you have it. Uh tape and fishing mode with PS2. Again, this was uh Ben Amy fourteen showing you guys this and uh, rate, comment, uh, if you have any questions about it, feel free to, uh, private message me here on YouTube, uh, or you can email me at the email in the video description that will be up there. Uh, otherwise, that's all I got. Um, not responsible to any breaking to your PS2 that happens during this process. Uh, thank you, and, uh, you know